Our first poet is from Ukraine. Miroslav Lauk is a Ukrainian poet and novelist who has a PhD in philosophy and literature. He was born in the, Carpe in the Carpathian, Carpathian region, but now lives in Kiev where he teaches creative writing at the National University of Kiev Molya Academy. Please welcome everybody. Miroslav Lauk. Мертвий лев на площі Святого Марка. Його побачили після повені. Ти будеш боліти вище карка, якщо твої очі левом повні. Синій лев на площі Святого Марка. Не стій у воді, бо до ніг приростають мідії. Не стій на землі, бо до губ приростає ця гарка, а вгорі небеса розквітають, як Індія. Ти будеш текти, як колись від минулого Мов бабка від коропа і короп від солі, і в синім соборі тебе притулять на бухлі груди якоїсь святої. І певне, не варто вже далі бігти, застигнути, мов скам'янілий короп, щоб разом з левом, собором і містом по міліметру ставати морем. Good evening. I'm Ukrainian poet and... Uh, my poetry is Ukrainian, but <laughs> I will read you, I'm going to read you several poems in English translation. Sorry for my English. <laughs> uh, the first one is Heart and Its Name. I had an excessive rip and I gave it to you. I had a kingdom. I gave you a help. I had something I gave away completely. I had a heart, but it never belonged to me. Like bread doesn't belong to a butt. Like rose doesn't belong to hand. Like a loss doesn't belong to words. Heart being possessed by the form beats and beats as somebody being locked in a dark room intentionally or accidentally. I call the heart the key when I forget keys. A heart is also a keys and a pear caramel. A heart I call a keys when I feel the beat of another heart with my lips. A heart, I take it out of my breast and put into a pocket when I can stand and it soils my brand new blue jeans and beats, beats, and beats, beats. Ia Shaya, Ia Shaya, Ia Shaya. In Hlizio, Ia Shaya. Say a bonga. The second poem, the set poem, is to my grandpa Nicola, who is not alive, but who is alive there. Uh, do you know what is a uh, cheese horse? Uh, it's a dish, a little horse uh, made of cheese. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, Grandpa Nicola. He threw weeds and sparrows out of garden like hugglers from the temple. He went to the potato corn radish deal with such a smile as to the church. And Grandma Hanya always grumbled that he doesn't love anyone as much as a pia he planted once in the middle of the orchard between a nut tree and an apple, and that Pia gives the best fruits. He taught me shameful songs, asked me to sing them to grandma, and gave me a cheese horse afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> he woke me at night to look at the hedgehog, 
blazing near the well, and all spitting on the top of sweet cherries, and fox sneezing up in the garden serenely. Grandpa, when we meet, I'll sing a lot of shameful songs for your cheese horse. <laughs> but you know, your pair dried up right after you. Mm. The next poem is not funny. It's about uh, the war in Ukraine. And they are coming back and telling stories. They are coming back and telling stories. More often now, those people. They remind our grandparents, people with history, also telling about bygone, unbelievable facts and parables, willing to be heard, asked, specifying question, played along. At the station, such a man with his head bunched told strangers about musician who took a violin to the front line and played it when there were no fights, played, otherwise took his arms and battles. Once, when our guys battled there, he threw his gun into feather grass, took his violin out of the case and played and start to play. He played great as God, and enemies began falling down as if they were shot. They didn't understand what was going on, but ours all the more. But the success didn't last long. Another violinist was the enemy ranks. He was a good one eyes. He ran to his camp, took the violin, and started playing the same melody. And our guys began falling down. Those two played till there was no allow alive around. Music is not aware of good and evil. Anybody wants to object? Who will dare? The man at the station proposed that the thought for war is in human nature. If a man has a desire to kill, he will kill even with music. <laughs> In the midst of a black night, near a blue lake, a yellow tram stops and carries me. It doesn't matter where. I'll hold the handrail in order not to fall in this world like an empty bottle, to the industrial zone, past the buildings I know but I can't see, past the poplars fallen in the bygone century, past the sleeping people, past the three martins who rustle here and there. And it all was already mine. All of it was already mine. Only death's fingers were not mine. Only death's white five. And it's a long poem about war in Ukraine, about uh, our occupied territory, about people who stop loving and start killing. Uh, Aries in Ukrainian воздух. Joy to the air, Lazar Baranovich. Rose is a rose, is a rose, is a rose. Gertrude Stein. First. 
מייל שאוור. מייל שאוור רומס ברסט אינטו גיילס אוף לאפטה. They joke crudely and turn the air blue. They run like shameless things on a river. Hit one another win with honeycomb towels. Spit the cold dust from their nasopharynx and suffocate from the steam. It always replaces air. Then, after this hot water, never spared here in this enterprise, they'll drink a few more shots of horilka. They'll come home and pet their cats, have sex with their wives, and fall asleep. They'll forget that tomorrow they should get up again. They'll forget about it until they see Red Tsar in their sleep. But one day, they may not have time to wash. For as soon as they get out of their mice, black as mice, Red Tsar will come out of the pit in the faraway box, and they will be given assault rifles, and they will ask, May we first wash ourselves, but the male shower room will be destroyed like a half-eaten mare under a spoiled tip, and the market where pigs and cows fish were torn will be clear, and the flying temple of some unknown confession will be stripped off its roots. No one will be able to recall the name of the homeless man depicted on every wall of that temple. And they simply wouldn't be allowed to breathe and to wash, even in puddles. And then they will be given rejoicing and encouragement. Very soon you wouldn't want this. The day before, they washed off the cold dust from their skin, ran through the shower room, dirty and throat with laughter. No one made fun of their homely bellies or looked under their nails. So they soaped themselves meticulously to become clean at least last. They rubbed themselves until scars appeared. But today, if there is water, it will be like this. Why you should, why should we wash off the coal if our own blood has clotted on our own skin when blood is yours? Why should you wash it off? The second, Red Tsar. He gets out of the pit box, tearing holes in the soil with his right hand while holding his groin with his left one. Then he runs to the mill, into the fireplace inside it. People are hidden there, and he brings Terra in a stripped red sock. He tucks at little girl's braids and licks their friskles. He hits old men in their kidneys, and they howl madly. Poets growl. Red Tsar has 100 bodies of mice, those tails Backbone and spinal cords have grown together. All of them feed him. Those bodies eat anything, even air and language. And petals of roses fall from the sky. 
There are so many of them that a single rose won't bloom next year. He jumps into the river to bathe himself. But the river, Red River, is hot and viscous. And Red Tsar rejoiced, laughed in the same way as the only prostitute who remains in the bar of the occupied town. He goofs and then hushes, and something goes off in the sky, something cool. The sad one, Donetsk. What a charming city, such a fine view. The city blooms with dashed people who walk smiling and carry fresh bread baked on the most beautiful coal, pointed buds of red roses with trees and walls are crammed with roses and people adorned with blooms lie all around, all men in ditches and little girls on the stair in schools. Rabbi colored petals are scattered around their bodies, but their black faces are greening and their lost arms regenerate. Their broken hearts curl into small fits while the flesh cut through by the roses heals, blood comes back from airs, petals form into buds, and people get up and continue to walk. However, the bread in their backs had turned into coal. I can't take my eyes off you, Donetsk. You are so beautiful that it hurts. To kiss girls. Don't believe of it. He wrote about transformation, but remained unchanged or ever become worse. Don't believe Herodotus. He vision of time's passage is incomplete. A school history teacher knows so much more. Don't believe Avicenna. What does he know about penicillin? His girls, red as roses are their lips. Roses, red, 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 red as roses. And lay butterflies on your lips, black with coal. They are bellies to your mouth, such a view which appear more beautiful to those who come to look at your sideways. Don't betray your disgust. There is no way you will ever wash yourselves clean. But, 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 you should. Of all women, there is only the wife of the king in this world then you can kiss war, this most beautiful lady. You will have to share her, but that doesn't matter. Her lips are red as roses, roses, red, 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 red roses. Kiss her, and she will forgive you heighter of her. She will forgive you even love, which was not love. After all, you don't have another choice when the wife of king is the only woman. And the, the last one, Iris, Ukrainian was duch, duch is a spirit. I know a wonderful world, was duch. They want to take it away from us. Because, they say, it was our so long ago that it's already foreign. Its initial part was 
was last uttered by a man who was swallowed up by the bog and sunk together with Duh. But there are so many people. You wouldn't believe how many people are of blood. So many of us, both here and there, above, in these incredible landscapes and 4,000 feet below ground, where we stay forgotten and dirty, where there is no wood, no pill since long ago, no coal and no lignite, only poor anthracite. Petals of red roses fall from above. They are called dust. Roses are red, red, red roses. There is not enough воздух for us. We can easily climb into daylight and wash ourselves carefully or descend even deeper to hide it in the deepest hole, but we don't have any air anymore, neither above nor below. They have just turned off the light here. We are counting aloud in order not to sink. We are inhaling words and parts of words. Was, was, was. It transforms into letters. Please don't cling me. I don't know the way out. Thank you.